South Carolina was a popular place to live in 2022. The U.S. Census showed that we were the third fastest growing state for the year. With all of these people moving to South Carolina, I thought I'd answer the top five questions that I've been getting from folks all across the country. Chances are they may be the exact same questions that you've been wanting answers to as well. So stay tuned. This is Jill Heydrich with Exit Real Estate Consultants right here in Columbia, South Carolina. If this is your first time on my channel and you want to know everything there is to know about moving to or living, working, and having fun in Columbia, South Carolina, then tap the subscribe button and click the little bell so that you're notified every time I drop a new video. I'm getting contacted almost every single day by folks looking into Columbia, South Carolina area. So if you're thinking about moving or relocating anywhere in the Columbia Midlands area, then give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email, however you want. But be assured, I'll answer you personally. It's been interesting to see folks from all around the world moving to a new city. A lot of times they have the same concerns and the same questions about an area that they're not familiar with. Now make sure you stay until the very end of this video because I'm going to take my time going through over everything for you. If you have any other questions that I haven't touched on that you want some answers to, drop them down in the comments section below and I'll make sure I answer them there. Let's get into it. Number one is crime. So this is probably the most frequently asked question that I get from folks who are looking at relocating to Columbia. And I'm talking about everybody, young people, young families, folks with kids, empty nesters, and even people looking into moving into retirement. Everybody really wants to know what's the crime like in Columbia? Jill, is it a safe area? Is that a safe area? Is it even safe to live in Columbia? Now, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I always try to do my absolute best to provide a ton of value and I always make the promise that I'm going to keep it 100% real with everybody. As a realtor, I am allowed to point you in the right direction with the data. So I start doing my research on this because I was going to give you some stats and some data so you can make a well-educated decision on where you want to live. But what I found is that everything is basically all across the map. I read this one recent niche.com article that most people feel safe in Columbia. I read another article that the top five safest cities in, Col in South Carolina and how Columbia it didn't even make it on the list, but Lexington did. Some of the sources looked like they were comparing a bunch of cities in South Carolina that have populations of like 10,000 people, maybe 20,000 people. So that didn't really seem like it would be good apples to apples comparison. I know as an accountant, if you torture the data long enough, you're going to get it to say whatever you want it to say. But to answer everybody's question, yes, we have crime in Columbia. Just like any other metropolitan area, there will be crime. The true question behind what people really want to know is, is it safe to live in Columbia area? The answer is yes. Now, there are certainly rough areas here. There are absolutely some rough areas here, but you'll find crime no matter what kind of city you're checking into. I always recommend that I'll send you different crime maps, different links that you can look in addresses, and you can use these actual data specifically to a house that you're looking for to help guide your decision on where you want to live. Number two is diversity. Columbia, South Carolina truly is a melting pot of cultures, traditions, and flavors. Whether you're a fan of sweet tea, barbecue, or hot boiled peanuts, you're sure to find something delicious to satisfy your taste buds here. With a mix of Southern charm and urban flair, Columbia and the Midlands offers something for everyone. You can take a stroll through the historic neighborhoods or catch a show at one of the many theaters. From the annual state fair to the Soda City Farmer's Market, there's always festive atmosphere to be found. And let's not forget about the diversity of the people themselves. Whether you're a lifelong resident or a newcomer, you'll find friendly faces from all walks of life. In Colombia, we celebrate our differences and we embrace what makes us unique. One of the things we hear from a lot of people who come visit us in Colombia is how nice and how welcoming everybody is. We're the type of place where if you bump into someone by accident, we'll say excuse me. When people ask me about diversity in Colombia, it's clear to me that what they really want to know is whether 
they're going to be able to fit in and be accepted here? Will they have the opportunity to find a community of people that they can fit in with? Will their kids get the benefit of having the opportunity to be exposed to other people and other cultures? After relocating here 26 years ago, the answer is yes. Number three is weather. I get a lot of questions about what the weather's like down here. It goes beyond just asking about how hot the summers are. Yes, the summers are super hot. What people really want to know about is the seasons, what it's like throughout the year and how it compares to where they're moving from. One of the best things about Columbia is the weather. We tend to miss out on the hurricanes. Now, if you go a couple hours south of us to Charleston, it's a whole different story. Even if the hurricane isn't hitting there, they're always prone to flooding. Columbia actually plays host to our coastal friends when they're going through the tough times weather-wise. We do have all four seasons here. My favorite is spring and fall. The mornings and the evenings are so nice and they're crisp and the days heat up to a comfortable temperature so you can go outside and do all kinds of outdoor activity. Number four is wildlife. I can't believe the number of people that are concerned about snakes and other wildlife. People must be watching a lot of National Geographic. We don't have anything crazy going on here in the Columbia area. Yes, we do have snakes, but it's not like we see them every day or anything. If you have a yard with lots and lots of trees or a lot of underbrush, you're more likely to see them. But if you don't, you probably won't see them very often. We have the normal type of insects that you see in most places, bees, wasps, mosquitoes, that sort of thing. Those are the flying insects. The only thing that you really need to worry about is the fire ants. They're no joke. It's like one day, no ants, and then if it rains overnight, and the next day, bam, you have an ant farm mound hotel in your front yard. So the more of the story is to make sure you stay on top top of your ant killer and spread that over your lawn. And if you do that every couple of months, you're gonna be fine. Um, of course, you always need to watch your young ones out in the yard to make sure that they don't get into any kind of um, ant mounds or anything. During the spring, the hummingbirds start showing up here. We have lots of bluebirds. Um, they are fun to watch, especially the hummingbirds because they chase each other around. And I like having a feeder that attaches actually to my window and it's right outside my office. And I love to watch them dart back and forth and at one another and if you're out on the back deck you can actually hear them the wing go shh, which is pretty cool I like that number five is whether Columbia is a good place to raise your family the short answer is yes it is Columbia is home to several excellent public and private schools as well as higher education institutions like the University of South Carolina you'll have access to a variety of educational options to help your children succeed. We have the normal sports offerings at our schools, as well as organized sports for soccer, baseball, swimming, all those other youth activities. So if attending these events isn't just enough for you, there's no shortage of things to do in the Columbia area. You can take your family to the Riverbank Zoo and Garden, where you can see a variety of animals and learn about wildlife conservation. You can explore the South Carolina State Museum, which has exhibits on art, history, science and technology or if you're looking for some outdoor fun take a walk or a bike ride on the Three Rivers Greenway it's a scenic trail that follows the Congaree, Broad and Saluda Rivers for more hands-on learning visit the Adventure Children's Museum an interactive museum where the kids actually can explore and discover if you're a sports fan make sure you attend the Columbia Fireflies baseball game at Sager Park it's what I would consider to be a more family-friendly type of stadium than others that I've seen. They also have great food and entertainment. Frankie's Fun Park is another great option. Here you can play mini golf, laser tag, and you can drive my kids' favorite, the go-karts. I raised my three kids here, and I can say that it was a great experience. I liked that Columbia has a strong sense of community. We always had friendly neighbors, and we find it to be a welcoming atmosphere after moving here from Indiana. Now, if you have any other questions or you're thinking about moving to the Columbia area where you can get boiled peanuts and a slower paced life at a very affordable cost, just call me, send me a text, or reach out by email. I'm here to help. Again, my name is Jill Heydrich, and I'm your real estate expert for the Columbia and surrounding Midlands area. I'll see you next week.